Come in, Muzog's room of happiness! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Did you see all the laser beams? Oh god, they got a monkey! He's gonna evaporate them all! Oh, Jesus, we didn't predict this! Keep spamming through, Tava! Keep spamming them through! Oh, they're still not through! Tava, they're still not through! They're still not through! Yes! What the fuck just happened? <laughs>Overwatch is full of hundreds of crazy, interesting, and pretty damn fun strategies. So in today's video, I wanted to show you my top five stupid, fun, and out of the box ways to have fun in Overwatch. Some of these you might have seen me try on this channel before, others you haven't, but all of them are an absolute blast to mess around with when you want to have some weird and wacky games with friends. So first up, we're going to start with something pretty simple, the Reinhardt Cliff Charge. Now, when Reinhardt charges, he'll continue to move for a set distance, and after the charge ends, his target is let go. Because of that, if your charge ends just at the right spot, you'll be left standing on the edge of a cliff while your target is catapulted off the map. No matter how much HP they have, nobody can survive the cliff charge. This was one of the first wacky strats that I tried out in Overwatch, but it's definitely still one of my favorites. This trick can get pulled off in almost any map that has a cliff. All you need to do is remember the correct spot to start your charge, and from there, the rest is easy. You can see some of my favorite spots to do the cliff charge from in this video, but it's pretty easy to discover your own. Just make sure you don't start your charge too far forward, or you'll go flying off the cliff alongside the guy you're trying to kill. And avoiding Roadhogs is also probably a good idea. I got the Roadhog again! Uh, oh, son of a bitch, he hooked me! Next up, it's the Torbjorn Tank. Now, this one requires a little bit of teamwork, but once it's rolling, few things are as crazily strong or as hilarious to see as this next strategy. All you gotta do is go Torbjorn and start building your sentries on top of the moving payload. Then have a shield carrying teammate, either Reinhardt or Winston, simply stand alongside it and block any incoming damage. Don't forget to have an evil laugh as the enemy team falls like cherry blossoms before your unstoppable cart of death. And remember, the Torbjorn tank comes in all shapes and sizes. With a few extra friends, you can easily upgrade it with some extra firepower, building two, three, or even more sentries on a single cart. With a couple of Winstons on top to protect it, believe me when I say you don't want to be on the receiving end of a Torbjorn tank. Strategy number three is gonna be Surprise Bastion. Now, you're gonna need to bring a friend along to pull this one off, but believe me when I say this is one of the most surprisingly effective things I've tried in Overwatch. The steps are pretty simple. Just set up as Bastion behind some kind of wall, get your friendly May to keep an eye out for approaching enemies, and then when they get near, simply use May's ice wall to boost the Bastion up and over the wall where he can absolutely shred enemies on the other side. That look of surprise when a 500 DPS Bastion suddenly appears above a nearby wall is absolutely hilarious. And in most cases, the bad guys won't have time to move out of the way before you shred them with bullets. Bastion's lack of mobility is his number one weakness in Overwatch, and once enemies know your location, it's quite easy for them to avoid you. But with the surprise Bastion strategy, the bad guys are never safe. Our second last strategy today is going to be the world record arrow shot. Now, most of you probably saw this in the video I put out earlier this week. But for anyone who's missed it, here is how you can pull off the world's longest Hanzo shot. Simply ask a friendly junk rat to place a trap on the ground, walk over the center of it, and then shoot a fully charged arrow or several fully charged arrows straight up into the air. Then, when an unsuspecting enemy walks through the trap, they'll get hit not only by the trap's damage, but also by a rain of Hanzo arrows which you fired off earlier. While doing this in the middle of rounds can be a little bit hard, it is an absolute blast and super easy to do at the start of each round. A fully charged arrow takes about 20 seconds to return to the ground once you've shot it up vertically, so simply start shooting during setup time and the first bad guys out the gate will get met with an unwanted surprise. 
And now, our last strategy for today's video doesn't really have a name. And I'll be honest with you, it's still in its Muselk experimental stages. I haven't had a whole ton of time to test it out, but this thing is basically the box trot spy of Overwatch. And believe me, I love my box trot spy strats. So what you're going to want to do is position yourself in front of the payload as Tracer as the enemy team is pushing the cart. Blink away and then three seconds later, use recall. With any luck, you should reappear inside the cart, and if you're extra lucky, you'll be completely hidden inside the cart. Once in there, it's extremely hard for the enemy team to both see and kill you, and while you're inside the cart, you are effectively contesting the cart's capture, so you'll be completely halting the cart's progress until they figure out what the hell has happened. Unfortunately, I've found it's only possible to do on Dorado, King's Row, and Route 66, as the cart needs to be big enough to fit an entire tracer inside. Otherwise, the game simply pushes you out. Now, this strategy is a little bit dodgy, and I also wouldn't be surprised if Blizzard ends up totally fixing this in the next few weeks. But while it still works, it is kind of fun to do. It's not super overpowered either, so I don't really feel that bad suggesting it. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed my top five Overwatch strategies. I'm going to have a ton more videos coming out with even more weird and wacky stuff that I absolutely love figuring out in this game over the next few weeks. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to check that out. But as always, guys, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you legends in the next one. Bye-bye.